So Will's got a uh, movie to promote, Emancipation, and so he's doing the apology tour thing now. I saw him on uh, Trevor Noah the other night, and I guess the apology tour thing is uh, starting because he hasn't spoken about the whole thing until uh, until the other night. It was the first time he spoke about it on Trevor Noah, and uh, you know I don't know how to I don't know how to view that. I don't know how to. Um, uh, it's obvious, right? He, he's got this movie to promote, so he's going to start, you know, taking responsibility for his actions, and everybody will laugh, and it will just blow over, right? And hopefully, they'll go see his movie, and he can get some traction with that. I'm not really feeling it, I'm not into it. I'm not with the whole. I just want to also say this before we get into the whole, uh, you know, what we're about to talk about is I'm not with the whole cancel culture thing either, in certain regards, right? Like, I, I don't want to see the brother canceled. I, I, I think he deserves to come back and do his thing. And, I, I, you know, it is what it is. But um, at the same point, seeing through this whole, you know, apology tour kind of things, we can promote this movie is kind of funny to me. But anyway, let's, 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 let's talk emancipation next. <laughs> Hey, welcome to That Guy Talks Movies. I'm That Guy That Talks Movies. And this is a quick video where I talk about my boy Will Smith here and Emancipation. Now, the trailer for this, I guess the original trailer was some time ago. And during that time, I wasn't taping episodes. You know, I recently just got back to taping and being a little more um, consistent with this. I took a break, right? Um, and then the more recent trailer, which I guess was maybe a month or so ago, I haven't you know, I didn't do a reaction video to that. When it comes to reaction videos, I haven't incorporated those into my lineup per se. I've done maybe, I think I did two or three in the past, but they were kind of bootleg reaction videos. They weren't me sitting with them. You know, I didn't have the setup where I'm, you can see what I'm looking at. I kind of just looked at my monitor and I reacted to the video reaction video, right? Anyway, let me know in the comments if you think I should start doing reaction videos. Uh, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a big thing, so maybe I will start incorporating those, but I want to talk about emancipation with you really quick and give you my thoughts on the trailer and what I, you know, what's to be expected. I have a lot of, t so there's a couple of things that this video will do, right? It's going to probably give you a sense of how I feel about Will Smith as an actor. Uh, and I will probably, you know, obviously I'm going to talk a little bit about the whole smack incident at the Oscars last year. It's impossible not to. I didn't do a video at that time again last year during the Oscars. I wasn't taping. I probably should have been. Uh, I should have got back on the air just for that one thing, just to talk about that, but I didn't. So now's my opportunity to kind of weigh in on that slightly. Okay. Not a lot. I'll just make a couple sentences and say it was totally wrong, totally out of line. And I think Chris Rock deserves an Oscar, uh, an honorary Oscar just for being such a, a gentleman in the way he handled that and continued to do his job through the night and hasn't spoken a word about it since. I, I think that's so admirable. And uh, you know, the, the consequence of what Will did uh, and the the shadow that you know, he cast over that whole pres that whole uh, entire production and all of the people who were so deserving that night to be honored and to be remembered, he totally just wiped out with his nonsense. And it shouldn't be overlooked that Chris actually really, really, really went the distance and just truly displayed dignity and class on every single level. Now, <laughs> as far as Will Smith goes, I'm not a fan of Will Smith, the actor, right? You can say what you want about Pursuit of Happiness. Say that, yeah, he did a great job. I don't think he did. I, I Here's the thing. I like Will when Will is being Will. When Will is being Will Smith, funny, gregarious, witty, comical, good-looking, charming Will Smith. I love Will Smith. And as a brother, I'm proud of Will Smith. And I, I admire Will and his family and everything that this brother has done and what he's brought to the game, what he's accomplished. I put him way up here as far as a movie star. But that's where the line is drawn. As far as an actor, I have never, I've said this time and time again on my social media and anyone who's spoken to me about this, right? Anytime a subject has come up when Will's done something and it's supposed to be serious, Will, I consistently say he can't act. He, can't, he did one film ever that I consider his finest performance as an actor, and that's because he wasn't a movie star yet. He did a movie called Six Degrees of Separation. If you haven't seen that film, go ahead. I might even do a video on that one at one point. But Stockard Channing, um, uh, uh, anyway, keep your, not keep yourself, Donald Sutherland, uh, Stockard Channing, okay? Uh, and Ian McKellen's in there as well. Uh, and a young Heather Graham. But 
That's his finest performance as an actor. After that, he became a movie star. Everything became the you know Fourth of July sort of like box office guy, starting with Independence Day, right? And he consistently bought it. Bad Boys was like his first sort of breakout, like, hey, look at me, I can be the sexy leading man guy, right? It was Bad Boys, classic. Bad Boys 2, classic. Like, this is Will Smith. So I want to preface what I'm about to say with all of that. So now all that's out of the way, let me give you my take on, as far as Will Smith, the actor and what I think about this. This to me is a contrived, you know, Overbrook Productions, that's his production company, produced this. I'm sure he had his hand in getting this film uh, to the screen and I'm sure it was probably his project. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Maybe it was somebody else and they bought it to him out of the blue and he decided to produce it. I have a feeling it was a passion project of his and I'll tell you why. He wanted to play Django in Tarantino's Django Unchained. Thank God he didn't, okay? But he wanted to play Django the reason he didn't play Django was because he doesn't kill the villain at the end of the movie, Leonardo DiCaprio, Can uh, Calvin Candy. He's not the one who does it. So he felt like the hero of the movie should have been Django, should have been the slave that kills the master of the plantation. I, I kind of understand that, but at the same point, it was still Django Unchained. It was, J it was your movie. He didn't get involved. The rest is history. Thank God he didn't. So I feel like this is one of those things where I'm going to make a slave movie too, and I'm going to play the slave. And I'm going to be the hero and I'm going to be the man. And I think that's what he did here. And because of that, to begin with, fundamentally, and again, I could, I'm speculating, I could be totally wrong. If that's the case and that's why this movie's been made, that's, always, that's not a good start because it's not original. It's not coming from a place of like genuine sort of inspiration, right? It's kind of like, hey, I just want to one-up people. On top of which, I feel this was prior to, um, I'm sure production was wrapped on this. I'm sure this film was done before uh, King Richard. So while he was like campaigning for his trying, I'm going to try to get an Oscar. So I'm more legitimate in Hollywood. I mean, he was legitimate. Let's just be honest. It's Will Smith. I think though the legitimacy uh, trying to win over people like me to see him as a serious actor, I think he was really trying to go to distance. And I think this movie and King Richard were his attempts. Obviously it worked with King Richard, the performance in King Richard. I didn't review that on his channel either. Not even worth my time. Terrible. I don't think he did anything. I don't, I don't even think the movie was that great. And I love the Williams sister. I love Williams. Like I, the whole thing, the story would have been great. I don't think his performance was to this level of like, oh my God, that was incredible. That was riveting. He deserves an Oscar. Hell no. Hell no. He got the Oscar. Fine. He's pushing for, I guess, another one. Or at the time that this was being made, he was trying to get his first. And he figured, hey, I'm going to put as much into the game as I can get by making this. Who doesn't love a good slave movie, right? Anytime, let, let me get to the trailer. Looking at the trailer, I'm not impressed with the trailer either. Now, I want to see it do well, right? But as soon as I see Will Smith doing any kind of an accent, it's done. It's, it's, it's over for me. He does not instill any kind of confidence that this will be a film worth watching. He doesn't bring, he's not the one, he's not going to bring me to the theater. Uh, it, it'll be Anton Fuqua. Like, I could see that. I could see wanting to see the visuals, all right? But it's not because Will Smith is doing a movie and I can't wait to see Will Smith. There are some actors I do that with. Like, some actors, like, I just want to see their movie. This here, you see that look on his face? That's his one emotion that he can convey when he's not being charming and being funny. Like all his looks, sad, depressed, angry, full of anxiety, uh, whatever, pensive, whatever. It's that look right there. That's it. Get a good look at it because he's only got one. And that's what he thinks is serious acting. So I'm not, go I'm not looking forward to this and I don't think it's going to be that great. All right? I don't think it's going to be good at all, to be honest with you. Um, December 2nd, we'll see in theaters and on Apple TV. I'll watch it on Apple TV. I don't need to go see this in a theater. All right. Um, with all that said, wrapping up, let me just say this. So in case it doesn't get, um, so it doesn't get lost. When I say something like this about a trailer or something coming up, or I have a negative opinion going into something, right? It doesn't mean that I don't want it to win, that I don't want it to succeed. I want it to succeed as a film lover, as a, as a, as a person who just from a positive standpoint, I just, I wish positivity and good energy, like 99.9% .9 of my life. Right? So I want to Pay, I'd like to maybe go to the theater and see it or watch it at home, right? And I want it to start and I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the score. I'm impressed with the opening sequence, the titles. I'm impressed with Will, uh, the writing. I want Will to deliver a performance that makes me change my mind and go, holy shit. He, like, I want to come on this channel and talk about it and be like, wow, Will really did his thing. That was incredible. That was impressive. That changed my mind. Shout out to Will Smith. He did a great job in Emancipation. I want to see this film get, um, you know, uh, great reviews. I want to see it do well. I don't want 
negativity. I don't want to walk into it and go, yeah, I hope it does bad. It's going to be garbage. I don't, do, I don't act like that. I'm saying what I'm saying about my opinion on what the trailer has brought so far and my opinion on Will Smith as an actor and where it's all coming from. So I just wanted to make that very clear. We shall see. Let me know what you think about Emancipation, about the trailer, what your expectations are. Let me know what you think about Will Smith as an actor. If you think I'm, again, bad shit crazy and you think he's an incredible actor, let me know in the comments below. I can take it. All right. If you like this video, hit the like button. I very much appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscription button there on the way out. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put up new content. Uh, and those of you who continue to stay with me, who join me, who watch these videos all the way through the end, I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next That Guy Talks Movies. I wonder if Will Smith will ever get a chance. You think what's the odds that somehow Will Smith he won't see this? Uh, so much for my career if I uh, start acting again. <laughs> if I can. <laughs>